it was fitting that this game was played on Halloween as it was one for the ages. The final score in overtime from Berkeley, Cal 3, UCLA 3. Troy Clarity, Danielle Slayton taking you through it. Let's pick it up at the start of the second half. Game tied at one, not anymore after this sequence. Eric Oloski making the right decision. Eric Oloski gets a little bit fortunate with the deflection, but a quality strike just off the back of Simon LaCressner, but we will not see the last of Simon LaCressner. That made it 2-1 in the 47th minute. Moving ahead to the 76th minute, Tommy Williamson had a penalty kick goal in the first half, but finds a way, sneaks it past, and ties up at two apiece. Uses every bit of his strength right there to turn, roll the defender. I thought that could have actually been a penalty kick, but Williamson doing what he needs to do to put it into the far post. And a neat little celebration there. Meanwhile, Riley Furch, number 15, comes into the game and 50 seconds later sets up Milan Olaski. Well, Eric Olaski gets the goal earlier in the second half and Milan Olaski with his 17th on the season from Riley Furch, his ninth assist on the year. That's in the 86th minute, UCLA ahead 3-2. Bruins have this one in the bag, right? Wrong. Final seconds of the regulation, this happens. Set pieces are so important and the senior, Simon LaCressner giving new life to Cal. It sent us into overtime where unfortunately for us, we did not see another goal. LaCressner's goal with three seconds left in regulation. Ryan Jordan unhappy as it ended up being 3-3 at the end of regulation. And that's how it would end overall. UCLA with this result, not eligible for the NCAA tournament this year. What a game. UCLA and Cal end up tied at three apiece.